What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? This is Brandon from the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society coming at you once again for Super Box, and this guy is Hugh Mahoney. Snack Tom Pale, we're back at Budokan once again with more snacks from the land of the rising sun, and this time they're not Cheetos. We're getting other American versions from overseas. That's right, our guy Paul from Critical Eats Japan sent us the Super Box you saw last week. Mm. We took down the Cheetos from Japan. The Cheetos were awesome. They or the Japanese barbecue and the minion banana. Go back one week and check it out if you haven't seen it because they are unique to say the least. That's right and this week we have something else from Paul. Let's pull them out. We've got first from Calby. Yes. It is the uh Double cheese pizza with actual cheese. <laughs> I don't think it says with actual cheese on here but maybe yeah. it does. Uh, cheddar and and mental, whatever that is, but it appears to be a chip. Yeah. Uh, I have a cheese pizza chip, and more importantly than that, it has a disco man on it. Yeah, it's on got the a back of the cool bag. Disco man. This dude is ready to go out and party. And uh, let's see if we can see him here. Yeah, yep, there he is. In there. Yep, there he He's goes. He's pointing at the chip, ready to get down to the Bee Gees. I mean, it might be some kind of deal with uh, staying alive or something. I don't know. Yeah. We can't read the bag, but it definitely has some kind of retro. Disco boogie going on there. That's right. This pizza looks <laughs> awfully cheesy. Yes, it does. I like that. That one's going to be very interesting since we're blending Italian and chips and Japanese all over the map on that one. Truly this, international. The second one we have is Mike Popcorn. Mike Popcorn. Which not Jerry Popcorn. No, not Dave Popcorn. Not Brian Popcorn. Not uh, Chris Popcorn. Mike Popcorn. Mike Popcorn. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Mike apparently makes popcorn in Japan. I don't know who Mike is. Well, my ex-girlfriend's ex-husband's name was Mike. Okay. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> this is the soy sauce flavor of okay. Mike, and uh, it is... Uh, Basically from Japan. Let's go ahead. And soy sauce <laughs> popcorn. So yeah. not so we ever see because you know I usually typically associate popcorn with a buttery you know movie theater type scent, but this yeah. doesn't seem like it's gonna be going in that direction. Mostly smells like popcorn, maybe with just a little touch of the soy sauce uh, aroma, if you will. Okay. So oh yeah, definitely not buttery. No. And um, the as far as appearance wise, it looks pretty much like normal popcorn. It's a little bit, got a little tinge to it of like brown. It's definitely not like got the fake butter on it to make it all yellow looking. No. Nope. But it looks, you know, normal size popcorn. Looks like regular old popcorn. And it's, you know, just like your typical uh, bag popcorn consistency. Not ultra fresh and crisp, but, right. you know, certainly passable popcorn for you to munch on. Let's see what Mike has for us here. What? Crunchy. Ooh, and then there it is. Takes a second. Mm hmm And it's not overwhelming. It's fairly mild. I was afraid it was gonna be really salty, but it's not. Yeah, it's um you hit you hit it and it's like, okay, I got my popcorn going on, and all of a sudden it's like, ooh, there's something extra here, and it definitely has a soy sauce flavor. Yeah, I'm digging that. A slight sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. But it's almost kind of like you just have a plate of white rice and you put some soy sauce on mm -hmm. it in terms of the way the effect, not, you know, you didn't douse it. No, you didn't drench it. Yeah, you sprinkled it. It ain't swimming in it. Right. Because that's the, the key why this works really well. You get that flavor, and it's nice and strong for a couple seconds, but once you get rid of the popcorn, it's gone pretty quick. Mm -hmm. There's not a ton of aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Aftertaste would ruin this. Yeah, I think so. Because too. it doesn't have a ton of aftertaste, I can see really going far into this bag on this. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. I think this would be a hit in the States. I think so. This has, this is a, it's unique enough. Of course it would. Oh. Look at the, the font. It's all, oh, all American. It's Mike's, baby. Mike is the most American dude in town. It's not Misawa popcorn. No, it's, it's not, not <laughs> Tatsumi popcorn. No, it's not Shinya popcorn. No. It's not Jushin Rager popcorn. No. Oh, Herb. <laughs> oh, Herb. <laughs> anyway, what kind of uh, rating are you giving this? Um, I'm liking it. This is a full thumbs up for me. It's just different enough. Not really digging it. If this is available here, I would buy it. I definitely would get it every once in a while. I'm not going to get it quite that high because I'm not like super into the bag popcorn thing. Right. Just, just because I, I, I used to work at a place that made fresh hot popcorn and right. I ate that shit constantly. You demand the best. Yeah, so <laughs> it was like, yeah, I got to have that fresh popcorn. But otherwise, you know, I'll eat it and it's good and yeah. stuff like that. I'll go ahead and give it a three quarter. All right. Pretty, Strong review. Pretty though. good there. So far, this super box is delivering. Absolutely. It's a hit all over the place. These right here might be the wild card. 
These are definitely something I'm interested in because I do love me some cheese. I do love me some pizza. Mm. And uh, it has pepperonis on the pizza here. And as you know, pepperoni goes on every pizza. Every pizza. Watch Pizza Night every Friday. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is from a Calbee company mm -hmm. and it's apparently called Double Cheese Pizza. With actual cheese. With actual cheese. Let's see if there's cheese flex on these chips. That's what it shows us here. Uh, actually, okay. it actually looks actually like cheese is melted on there. Like for real. They put these through an oven? They bake in these chips with actual cheese on them? Maybe that's what he means by actual cheese. Let's it's see. not like powder. Let's see if they smell. Do they smell like a pizza or do they smell like a potato chip? Oh, they're cheesy as hell. Wow. And <laughs> yeah, they got cheese on them, bro. Oh yeah, they do. And some seasoning. Okay, they're, now they're a rich chip. This brotata chip has Whoa. cheese on it. And they smell super cheesy. Yes, cheese they do. Cheese and funky cheese. Wow. Now, let's get a good look here. They are a, uh, they're a ridged chip like ruffles yeah ridge like ridge that yeah, ridge like ruffles because ruffles have ridges with actual chunks of orange cheese on them yeah it's like wet almost you know it's on top of the chip it's not in the chip yeah. it's on top of it yet they maintain christmas yeah i'm very interested in this why aren't we doing this in the states this might be some next level snacking going on right here tell me about it let's see cheese pizza do it crunchy Tomato saucy. Mm. Oh man. That had like a pizza seasoning mm -hmm. type deal going on. Mm -hmm. But not like it hit you over the head. Mm -hmm. not, not that it hit you over the head, fake Italian flavor, you know what I'm saying? No, no. Ah, Italian. Uh -huh. Ah, Italian. Yeah. Mmm. Man. These are like really, really like natural tasting in terms mm -hmm. of like, you know, some fresh ingredients were put uh -huh. in this and it tastes really good. They're nice and crunchy. Yeah. They're not all soggy or weak. Uh, mm. for, which, for as much stuff as on them, you would think it would like, harm the, like, the, the flavor of the chip. Um, I think these are the home run of the whole super box yeah, experience these, here. I would describe these, my initial reaction to them is, I could see these being a bowling alley snack. These are a bowling alley snack from the bowling alley vending machine. These are strong. They are totally unlike anything I've had. Closest thing I can relate them to is maybe uh, the pizza combos. Yeah. Except that's on a pretzel. And it doesn't have that. The pizza combos yeah. have that fake Italian yes. flavor. Yes. This doesn't have those. This just no. tastes like kind of like a pizza. Mm -hmm. Kind of. I don't really taste pepperoni. No. But maybe there's a little bit of the spice in the background from the pepperoni. Uh -huh. like, definitely taste that cheese. Yeah. Crisp, the salt of the chip. Fresh, I get that. Potato y. It mm -hmm. actually says pizza potato on here. So mm -hmm. that's what it is, man. I, I don't. I, there's no, no hesitation, right? Yeah. This is. Bang! The super box, man, critical hit. Paul, you've done us well. Critical Eat Strong. Japan is his new, is his new channel name. Mm -hmm. Used to be called Critical Hit, but you can check him out on Ooh. our uh, link down below. Uh, he's a member. Uh, no, he's not a member of the SAS, I don't think, but he should be. After and this, you should be too by clicking on the link in the description down below. Uh, also, you can follow us on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS and at Heel Will Mahoney. That's right, you need to take those handles at Brandon Reich SAS, at Heel Will Mahoney. Use them on Twitter, use them on Instagram, use them all over, tell us what you're snacking on, and when you do, use hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. Do you have some snacks from your region of the world that you want us to review? Get in touch. Do we like Paul did? We'll review them, we'll check them out, and you'll get a shout out and you'll get credit for hooking up the SAS. And who knows what we'll think of them. These were a total damn home run though. These are fantastic. You know what else you need to do? You need to join the Four Horsemen. That's right. Mm. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. Yes. And also uh, check out Paul's channel again by clicking on the link down below. In yes, the meantime, indeed. in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Superbox Home Run. Night, night.